Hey, YouTube. Cat here. Hey, back with another video hey, today. Today we back with DMV Hoods and Beef. This one right here. We got 11-year-old DC rapper. We got 11-year-old DC rapper K by a straight bullet. And lit hoods of 4th of July in DC. Hey, let's get into this video, man. Today we will discuss July 4th in DC, and we will also discuss the Day Day story who was killed by a stray bullet on 4th of July years ago. First, we will get into the David McNeil, AK, a Day Day story. Day Day was a teen from Southeast DC who was on the way to a family member's house, and as he would leave the house to go to a community center, suspects would begin shooting up the block, accidentally killing Day Day. Davin McNeil was hit by a stray bullet while grabbing a phone charger before heading to a community cookout on the 4th of July. Devon McNeil's grandfather says the boy was running into a building in Southeast DC Saturday night to grab a phone charger on the way to a community cookout. That's when he said gunshots rang out and his 11-year-old grandson fell to the ground. The shooting happened in the 1400 block of Cedar Street SE around 9.20 p.m., and the boy was hit after a group of five fired shots in his direction, according to D.C. police. He was pronounced dead after being taken to the hospital, police said. Metropolitan Police Chief Peter Newsham. What they was trying to hit the little boy? Like, was he the intended target? Let me see if he was going to say it. I don't know was on scene and answered questions via Periscope on the Metropolitan Police Department's Twitter page. The reason for the shooting Damn. is not known. Damn, you gonna answer questions through Periscope, bro? Damn, Periscope, people ain't used that app since 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Periscope, bro? It is also not known if there are suspects that police have identified for this shooting. Davon was a sixth grade student at Kramer Middle School in DC public school system. The district confirmed. DCPS said that McNeil was a funny and outgoing child. Davon's grandfather, John Ayala, is the chief of police for Archangel Special Police, who helped provide mobile control and security services around the DMV. He spoke to Wusa 9 about the horrifying moment he discovered Davon was killed, saying that Davon was getting out of a car to grab a charger when the shots were fired. He was just getting out of a car to go get a charger to charge his phone while he was going to a cookout. That's it, Ayala said. And when he stepped out the car, the shots rang and he fell to the ground. The mother thought that he was ducking to not get hit and came to find out he had got shot. Ayala said that Davin's mother is highly involved in the community, constantly working with DC City Council and activism groups to help end violence. She organizes donations, hosts events, and has cookouts to spread the word in the community against the very street violence that impacted Davin. A DC official did confirm that Crystal McNeil is a violence interrupter for the district. Her 11-year-old son is right on the side seeing that stuff. That's... See, stories like this just don't be making sense, bro. The family doing everything in their power to make sure the city is in good hands. People trying to leave a mark in this joint. And it's like, no matter how much good you try to do, it's like the negativity just seem to just like pop his head up. It's always like that. Like the grandfather doing amazing things, chief leader or something like that. The mom dukes, community activists, like trying to make sure everything is good and like, When you hear stories like that, you be like, come on, bro. Like, a, whole, a person, whole family trying to do amazing things in this city, trying to lead a mark, and this is what happens? Like, you kind of think, like, how is that even possible? Like, why is this even possible? Like, what is going on here? Getting that role model, you know? And that was what we need in the black community, Ayala said describing the close relationship between Davin and his mom. Ayala described his grandson as an outgoing kid who loved playing sports, especially football. He was an active participant in a variety of youth leagues, 
and had big dreams of one day making it to the NFL. His dream was to get into the NFL because being a VIP on his team and knowing that he likes that sport, this is what he was going to. So this is another kid that's not out there, causing problems and not doing anything negative, Ayala saying? said. He got good grades in school, he is doing sports, and all of a sudden he tragically shot down in a community where he should not have been shot. But his grandfather said Davin was just as moved by that community outreach his mom participated in, by her side, and being exposed to activism at an early age. He is not just going out playing sports, but he was at his mother's side trying to do something positive in the community. So you got a woman that is doing something positive every day, getting donations, which she could be out doing anything else and she's fighting against violence, and then it hits home when her own son is shot and killed. And again, it wasn't for him. He just was at the wrong place at the wrong time, but it's still a tragedy, Ayala said. After Davin would pass, they would rename the block he died on, and the suspects would also later be arrested. Do you like having a P.O. box but are tired of wasting time and money driving to the post office? I just would have to handle me. I'm only two years old. Yeah. Woo! 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 Baby daddy. No way, Jay. Oh. C.O.G. Ma. I just wish I started handing them on at 10 years old. Stop what y'all doing. That money coming fast, so I had to go get it. I just wish I had a mail, mail, flip it to a bill. Let it rally to a tie. I'm an on side rapper. I don't want to get signed. If it's less than a mil, I'm going to get that money fast. Went to the money like I fish. I wish I had everything. I've been through everything. As a young man, as a young man, as a young man, young man, as a young man. If I could take yeah. my family to another state, I miss my grandma, my niece, I'm just mad she can't talk. I know she got me on hand. I, I just pray for better days. Yeah. Look my mother, I see all the pain. I'm up. just waiting for my turn to come up, yeah. making money, that's the move. Yeah. I ain't going to cover your stop. No. I'm going to make it, that's a vet. Yeah. Going fast up in a vet. Spend a check up on my neck. You want that money, that's a bag of wrong. See the with the school. Mine is 2 2 k That's what you do. COG, that's the game. Yeah. Money said yeah. where we be at. Gave me game. Yeah. Run outside like a running back. When you show me, you should have did song. 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 Talking to the family of a boy who was caught in some crossfire and killed about a year and a half ago, 11-year-old Davon McNeil was shot and killed while leaving a Southeast D.C. Fourth of July cookout in 2020. Three men have struck a plea deal in this case, and Davon's grandfather tells News for Shamari Stone he is very upset about this outcome. It is a burning emotion right now. I feel like I'm on fire. John Ayala is heated on a cold Friday night. It's, it's very disappointing. The three men who killed his 11-year-old grandson, Davon McNeil, will serve seven and a half to nine and a half years in prison as part of a plea deal. They'll be out. Maybe. Hold on, bruh. No. I'm like at a loss for words, bro. I'm at a loss for words, bro. Maybe in five years, and my grandson will never be back here again. He only lived in this planet for 11 years. So they get less of time than a boy was alive. He was 11 years old. They get seven to nine years? How is that even possible? No, how is that even possible? So, it's not a good feeling at all. N hey, niggas is beefing over property that they don't even own a house on. That shit don't make fucking sense. You don't own the block. Like, get let's get this shit through your heads, bro. Like, please, let's get this shit through our heads. You don't own shit on that block. I don't even think y'all own a car that's on that block. The car's not even in your name.
Like, all that we gotta do better shit is out the window. Like, nigga gotta just stop. Like, niggas be beefing over the goofiest shit. Like, niggas real deal be beefing over the most clownish shit in the world, bro. Like, niggas is real deal clowns. Like, clowns, goofies, weirdos, poindexters, like, real deal dorks. Like, you niggas is dorks. Like, no funny. Dorks, like, you niggas think y'all run shit. You niggas got problems, like, real deal problems. That shit don't make sense, bro. It don't make sense with niggas, like, all these communities be destroyed over, like, goofy-ass niggas, like, real deal clowns. Like, these niggas be real deal clowns. They don't care about nobody. They don't care about their own family. How the fuck do niggas get the... Daryl Bond, Kristen Wingfield, and Marcel Gordon pleaded guilty on Friday to a charge of voluntary manslaughter while armed. Prosecutors say they're responsible for the July... Man, bruh. Man, bruh. Fourth shooting that killed Davon as he stepped out of his mother's car on the 1400 block of Cedar Street Southeast. Prosecutors say Davon was an innocent bystander. They could have took him right to trial, but they decided to give him uh, a plea bargain. And it, it's, again, it's not acceptable. A fourth suspect, Carlo General, is awaiting trial for first degree murder. He pleaded not guilty. We called the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia to ask about the plea deal. A spokesperson released a written statement saying, quote, These plea agreements followed a thorough investigation and analysis of the events of that tragic night. The U.S. Attorney's Office typically analyzes many factors in plea discussions, including the facts of the case, the evidence, the investigation, relevant case law, and concerns of the victim's family, end quote. John Ayala believes there was enough evidence to get a conviction at trial. He is the director of the D.C. chapter of the Guardian Angels, a volunteer-based organization that provides safety patrols in local communities. He'll forever miss his grandson. I would never thought that it would have hit home. I'm Shamari Stone, News 4. La D.C. Street now has a new name to honor a young victim of gun violence. Family and friends of Davon McNeil gathered on Cedar Street in Southeast today. It'll now be known as Davon T. McNeil, the third way in honor of the slain 11 year old. It's the same street where the child was hit by a stray bullet four years ago as his mother hosted an anti violence cookout. Just to always remember him, and just know that his family loved him and was willing to do any and everything for him. And just always want people to remember the loving child that he was. And for people to just stop with the gun violence. Because it hurts a lot of people. A lot of people are affected by it. And it doesn't matter how long, how much time goes by. This is how we made our work flow better than ever with Monday.com. It gave our team. Just a terribly sad story. By the way, today would also have been Davon's 15th birthday. Now we will get into July 4th in DC. Every block around the district was lit for the 4th of July. And it wasn't many shootings reported. Who do you think was the most lit hood on 4th of July? Stop an owl shit, though. They won't stop the owl shit. Fuck it, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Don't jump. <laughs> Go ahead, Slide. Go ahead. Hey, we taking shots out of this. Hey, we taking shots out of this. We got a drunk bump in July. A drunk bump in July. Yeah, Slide. Go ahead, pull that motherfucker. Blow that motherfucker. Oh, oh you better blow me up with that. Don't worry about it. I think hey, y'all know this how motherfucking apartment just caught on fire in Southeast? Like uh, the whole apartment of niggas shooting them Roman candles, bruh? 
I'm talking about the whole apartment, though. I ain't talking about just the whole junk, bruh. Caught on fire off niggas shooting Roman candles, bruh. See what you want. I see what you want. You try to shoot me with that motherfucker that go boom back though and die about that your way. Did I burn motherfucker? This rich eight niggas activity. Man, sound man, y'all ain't having shit like that. Y'all bitches left me. Y'all wild as shit, the fuck? Hey, for everybody that's not from D.C., hey, this is what D.C. look like. Projects, bruh. I keep trying to tell you niggas, man. It ain't just White House living, bruh. <laughs> it's all projects. It's all you gonna see. Every clip, that but projects. Black people in the projects, bruh. Like that that's why niggas be having them blown ligaments this is exactly why these niggas be having them blown fucking ligaments oh shit like this come out how you come out yeah. it's just a whole come yeah. this way it's just a it's just a message you're not proud it's just a message for you young niggas oh my god it's just a message <laughs> I've helped non-tech people get into tech and land multiple six-figure cyber security jobs and Hey, real niggas don't even do that shit no more. Real niggas don't even see they peoples anymore. They keep claiming, yeah, I'm on such and such. I'm on such and such. Nigga, when the last time you seen them or her? Gangster, like you niggas, man, these niggas don't even be really that, man. What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Look what Jersey Shore do to niggas. Look what they sure do to show put niggas out. What? His head like a nugget like shit. It's shit like a deep fried nugget like shit. Shit like a chicken drum like shit. Shit look like a Boston baked bean. <laughs> shit look like a marble. <laughs> shit look like Brock of Pokemon. <laughs> shit look like he got my cat Pfeiffer head. <laughs> Shit look crazy. He blasted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit look like Jaru. <laughs> Shit JV in the head. <laughs> what you doing right here, man? <laughs> nah, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You real ugly as shit right here on me. What? <laughs> Trey. Trey, what are you doing, Trey? <laughs> that shit like Michael Jordan. <laughs> Live, y'all. He back alive, Slim. My boy back. <laughs> My boy he took an hour nap and got back on their ass. I did, Slim. You want some more liquor? Go ahead. It's right there, man. Yeah, it's right there. We ain't done yet. It's like our fifth bottle. We ain't done. We ain't done. Good morning. It's a great day to be a Vought International shareholder. Because. I hey, see y'all in the next video.